The following is a guide for maintaining well-being and specific radiation treatment and therapies in the nuclear age, but taken from a natural health perspective. For dosage amounts of remedies discussed, please do see a professional. And remember, as we go through this atrocious video, that cancer is cancer no matter how you get it. Therefore, it is curable. And this information applies equally to the smokers, boozers and experimenters among us. Please continue. And finally, it is not the definitive list of all things available. In natural health, there is much, much more, but this is at least a healthy start. One of the main things about staying safe from radiation is keeping yourself updated. I've subscribed to Radchick by, oh, I call her Itchy, and more from her a little later, but she actually puts out videos every couple of days and lets you know the fallout forecast for the next 72 hours. Get to know your area and the threats to you. For example, if you live near a reactor, find out when they carry out what is called routine releases because although it sounds very political, politically correct and quite safe um, they do release gamma emitters, xeon, argon and krypton. Also get familiar with um, radiation networks that give you real-time updates on where the radiation levels are and how high they are. Keep an eye on the jet stream as well as the situation in Fukushima and this is Itchy's site, Fukushima Facts, and she's got some fantastic information on here. And it's updated regularly, so check that out. And get familiar with some very strange numbers. I don't know how many ways I have found to um, work out radiation. It's quite confusing, but if you stick to M, capital S, V on Lisa Verts, it's far easier, I find. So as you can see, between a dental x-ray and a chest x-ray, relatively small numbers. And just for interest's sake, and here's a reading taken from an elementary school in, um, or near the Fukushima um, nuclear power plant. As you can see, it's 0 0.104. And as you can see, the children are experiencing in between a chest x-ray and a mammogram's worth of radiation right now. So what does radiation do? Well first it has prodromes and they're symptoms that um, appear prior to the actual disease appearing like cancer. So I won't read out all of these but if you just, I'll just scroll down and if you see something of interest pause the video and copy it down. I will try and find a home for this information um, online. What I'd like to tell you about is this high fever in the egg. All right, All you have to do is grab the egg white, put a non-absorbent cotton hanky into it, soak it a little bit and then put it on the person or your feet and just keep the um, feet nice and moist, the base of the feet nice and moist within 8 to 10 minutes the fever will break. It's amazing. I have used this time and time again. It never fails. It's all. And this is a really really great video to watch from Itchy. It's about what you can do to eat and I've just nicked some of her information here. You want um, high potassium foods, apples, oranges, dark chocolate, um, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a really great anti-cancer Chlorella is also an excellent source. Um, it flushes out stored waste and pollutants, as it says here, in the body and assists the liver in ridding the body of toxins. As is, of course, vitamin C. And upping your levels of vitamin C is always going to be helpful, especially the, the absorbic acid. And powder form is um, a great way to take it. And I liked Itchy's tip about powdered milk. Apparently the process removes any cesium, so that's good to know. Turmeric is also anti-cancer, and if you just start sprinkling it on your food. Antioxidant-wise, red wine um, and water. Evidently you have uh, something called glacier water in the US, and its process um, is far safer than anything else, according to Itchy. Also limit dairy, I'd extend that to gluten also. Gluten has this horrible habit of sort of um, becoming quite gluish really around your intestines and it doesn't let our lovely supplements and things go from us. So um, limit gluten and dairy. 
Now apple cider vinegar is also a very very beneficial substance um, as well as being able to take out these things right here. Um, it is also extremely important, one of the most important substances you can take because it helps to break down um, fats um, in your blood and helps with the alkaline and acid best, uh, ba balance, sorry, and I'll put the link for the site below. Now the lovely Japanese man that makes my sushi here in New Zealand, um, he is from Hiroshima and he was telling me about miso soup one day and apparently they actually gave it as a treatment to some of the survivors of the Hiroshima atrocity and many of them did actually bounce back. Now one of my most favourite remedies is Himalayan salt and I give this to people all the time. Um, it not only fights diabetes, normalises blood sugar but it's got no less than 84 minerals of it, four of which are known um, factors in maintaining blood sugar levels and that's going to be important. It's got chromium, vanadium, manganese, magnesium, uh, zinc for immunity, iodine, um, and sulfur but again it promotes that healthy pH balance and the way to take it is put three grams of the salt or half a teaspoon for every ten glasses of water okay about two liters of water per day so get used to water but it is an awesome awesome remedy and vitamin D3 here we have drmccola.com this is his site and he explains how vitamin D3 can help uh, um, help us defend ourselves against radiation it's a really interesting read and a very very good um, vitamin to be taking and we're almost there but colloidal silver couldn't end the video without mentioning that it is a goodie antiseptic disinfectant um, and incidentally if chemtrails annoy you not that they really exist or anything but pop some colloidal silver cream over your thyroid just um, over the neck there and because of the properties in the silver could it can keep you quite safe from these things and we have a lot of them drop over us put it on ourselves and the kids and give the dogs some colloidal silver as well just to be safe finally guys a natural therapy for darn near anything is the body talk system uh, I've been doing this for about four or five years now we use it um, at my home we've got four boys under six and this is this helps me out just every day in this video you'll see this guy Dr John Veltum actually explain to you um, some of the simpler techniques so that you can do it at home it really is a lifesaver this one and the way I remember it is just think of it in terms of acupuncture without the needles. So my video is getting a little bit long now guys so what I'm going to do is I'll get the information together for treating specific cancers and put that up next. Um, what I also want to get the word out is what to avoid right now. Okay so I'll do some more work on this but in the meantime MSG alright you've really got to avoid junk food especially now that they're actually processing um, MSG using aborted fetal cells it's just wrong aspartame um, or any artificial sugar stay away from it there's people walking around with rare what they call a rare form of uh, multiple sclerosis and it's directly connected we know it to um, artificial sugars so stay off it um, if you're a person that drinks a lot of water please don't leave it in cars we have sufficient e evidence to say that um, they actually turn into carcinogenic on us again we talked about gluten so you know to avoid that um, chelating if you're into chelating please don't do it with amalgams you can risk giving yourself a stroke um, and also, also if you're worried about bone cancer one don't be but do not take calcium supplements either guys if you don't need it because that can give you a heart attack that said depressing a part one of the depress, depressing video over with I shall come back to you real soon with the specific treatments because again there is a cure for every cancer out there take care guys